Hello friends. Today we have came with very important clause. That is confidentiality. I think we have to start our session quickly. As you all are very eager to know about an important concept confidentiality. So let's start. Don't forget to subscribe, share and like. Your feedback is very important to us. Let's discuss further with our guide Mr. VV. Hello friends. I am Mr. VV. Happy to see you again. Today we will try to understand confidentiality in terms of ISO 17025, 2017. When someone say this information is highly confidential. What we understand in simple terms? That is keep secret of information. In other words don't disclose the information to someone who is not authorized or eligible to access that information. Well, the information in laboratory context may be customer list, customer sample test results, your company financial expenses, old test reports, disclosure of your company's information or customer's data to an authorized body is failure of confidentiality clause. In ISO 17025, 2017, clause number 4.2 stands for confidentiality. Let's see clause number 4.2.1. The laboratory shall be responsible through legally enforceable commitments, for the management of all information obtained or created during the performance of laboratory activities. The laboratory shall inform the customer in advance, of the information it intends to place in the public domain. Except for information that the customer makes publicly available, or when agreed between the laboratory and the customer. For example for the purpose of responding to complaints. All other information is considered proprietary information and shall be regarded as confidential output of laboratory activities or test results. But, this output is achieved by chain of information and data which is related to customer and also to your organization. Your ethical behavior play an important role in handling the information. Your company should identify the risk area in handling critical information and also the intensity of criticalness. Based on that, confidentiality procedure should be established on each step and monitored. You can't not disclose customer test data or any information of customer without his concern. Except disclosure is allowed when it has high critical impact on public domain. Even for this disclosure you should have proper policy of disclosure in which circumstances it should be done. For example, if you are doing testing of baby care products and you suddenly found high concentration of hazardous materials and that product is in circulation in market. It's your company's ethical duty to inform government body and also the customer without delaying. This disclosure is done based on critical impact on human safety where public safety is on priority in comparison to confidentiality with customer data. On other side let's take example of testing of copper purity test on copper wire. If the test result is out of limit or within limit, we should not disclose data with anyone except customer because it's customer testing of quality of copper material which doesn't have any direct critical impact on human. Sharing this data with other body who is not associated with that customer will be breaking of confidentiality. Even sample visual access is not allowed to anyone except concerned body. So we have also covered the clause 4.2.2. When the laboratory is required by law or authorized by contractual arrangements to release confidential information, the customer or individual concerned shall, unless prohibited by law, be notified of the information provided. As per clause number 4.2.3. Information about the customer obtained from sources other than the customer. For example complainant, regulators, shall be confidential between the customer and the laboratory. The provider, source, of this information shall be confidential to the laboratory and shall not be shared with the customer, unless agreed by the source. As per clause number 4.2.4, .4, personnel, including any committee members, contractors, personnel of external bodies, or individuals acting on the laboratory's behalf, shall keep confidential all information obtained or created during the performance of laboratory activities, except as required by law. So let's understand whole confidentiality channel. Your organization receives samples for testing. Sample is not just came for testing, it's come with customer information customer trust, customer confidential technology and process parameters. So consider sample as a whole customer information source which should be kept confidential. 
those who are coming laboratory activities related to that sample should follow confidentiality. That person's may be, customer relationship executive, test engineer, authorized signatory or even report courier agency. These all who are directly or indirectly involved in customer information handling process should follow confidentiality and also trained well regarding this clause. They must have signed the confidentiality policy. Let's see some situational video for better understanding. Hello Miss Monica, I hope you have received our samples which was sent by government body. We regularly receive tender samples by government body. Maybe your sample will be there, but I can't disclose your any matter. We can lose tender if we don't succeed in required test results. I know my sample is good, but can you tell me other customer sample results after testing? I'm sorry sir, we cannot disclose any information regarding any job except authorized body or customer. I'm not telling you to change results, I'm just asking to share test results data, what is the problem in that? We are only allowed to disclose data to our customer. We are following confidentiality terms and conditions. I'm sorry sir, we can't help you in this way. Oh no. Nice video example given Mr. VV. Thanks Miss Lily. It's just a single example. But if you think about risk involved in confidentiality, you will find lots of opportunities to make your system more effective and impartial. So friends, I hope you got clear understanding about confidentiality clause. If you have questions kindly type in comment section. And don't forget to share and like. Please subscribe Indian VV by channel for regular updates regarding ISO 17025, 2017. Bye bye friends, God bless you.